Hey, I'm Zach, part of the team behind PAX. PAX is a new foundation for user interfaces, built at the systems level in Rust. While PAX is fast and lightweight, and runs as native apps as well as in the browser, the real reason we're building PAX is so that you can build user interfaces with visual creative tools alongside code. Let me show you how it works. Let's imagine we're on the team building the product for a video streaming service. Pretend this is the real product. This is production software, something I can interact with, with animations and logic, driven by code. We'll make some changes by opening PAX's visual development tools called PAX Create. Now, the first thing you may notice when you use PAX Create is things just go where you want them to go, like you would expect from a professional design tool or CAD tool. This is enabled by PAX's rendering engine, built from the lowest levels to enable this kind of freeform creative experience. Both pixels and percents are first-class citizens in PAX, making every app responsive by default. And you can build with the vocabulary of user interfaces, like buttons and text boxes and layouts, as well as with the vocabulary of a vector design tool, like group, ellipse, and path, and of course, animations. The next thing, which you may already have noticed, is that as we make changes here on the left, check out what's happening on the right side of the screen in code. As we make visual changes, the code is updating in real time. This is because PAX Create is just a view into a code base. There's no translating between the design and the code because they're exactly the same thing. This means the changes go the other direction too. As we make changes in the code, the design updates in real time. We call this multimodal creation, where visual building and code are both creative modes affecting the same substrate. We believe this is a more creative and ultimately a more collaborative way to build user interfaces. Speaking of multimodal, you can invite natural language to the party too. I'll prompt GPT-4 to add a nav bar. You can also riff on what the LLM comes up with, taking a V0 from the LLM making it a v1 with visual changes, a v2 with code, and a v3 with natural language again. PAX comes in two parts. PAX Engine is our open source developer tool, similar to Flutter, React Native, or HTML. PAX Create is our visual builder, commercial but free for individual use. PAX Engine is available today in alpha on GitHub, currently Rust, is the only supported programming language, but we are working on TypeScript bindings. This will make it so that you can build packs alongside TypeScript instead of Rust, leveraging the same ecosystem as React and Next.js. We anticipate that PAX TypeScript will be available as well as a general beta of PAX Engine by the end of 2024. PAX Create is still pre-release and we are working hard to share it with the world. Join the early access list to try an early build, or follow our GitHub repo, join our Discord, or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Learn more at pax.dev.